Hi guys and welcome back to VR Essentials. Today we're here to talk about, of course, Meta Connect is happening in just a couple of days. Do hit the bell notification after you subscribe as we will be doing a watch party so you can be notified and come and join watch with all the other VR Essentials YouTube community members. So it'll be a really cool party whew, together. And also I do hope that you like the video I uploaded just a couple of days ago with an AI generated voice. It's the very first VR video using AI generated voice on YouTube here using of course very cheeky hmm, the voice of tell me who you think the voice is in the comments below he's pretty famous and I think you should know but today we're here to talk about as I mentioned the Facebook Meta Connect is happening in a couple of days and there are been some things that of course Meta has been doing in order to prepare for the show so let's just go and take a look at all the various different things that are taking place at this moment first of all guys there is a unity sdk available for developers to be able to do stuff with body eye and face tracking code sample where they can go and sample all the various different things as to how it works and it is completely free so unity movement is a package it's called unity movement by the way it's a package that uses OpenXR. so OpenXR is basically a system a way for people to basically be able to develop some apps on the web browser so that you don't need to specifically have to develop it for every single headset one by one as long as the headset is OpenXR enabled you can then go and try it without having any difficulties whatsoever so let's just go back very quickly um, so layer API to expose MetaQuest Pro body tracking eye tracking and face tracking capabilities with this package developers can leverage tracking to populate VR environments with custom avatars that bring the expressiveness of users into the virtual environment that they create now it is free but however developers do go and read up on the terms and conditions of the oculus license of course as they might be some privacy thing some data there that perhaps you know they are uh sampling or taking from your game so just be aware of that just go and read it up uh and see what's there before you use it of course do be aware of that then the other thing um there is a other app that just opened not uh, not too long ago i think it was today or day before there's a new demo on app lab called move fast oculus interaction sdk showcase demonstration the use of interaction sdk in unity with hand tracking for fitness style app so this is basically for any developer who is looking to develop an app using hand tracking of course meta are trying to compete as much as possible with who the Apple Vision Pro, which is supposedly not going to have any controllers, although personally speaking, I still think they will be controllers as accessories. Maybe not straight away, but certainly down the line, as I'm pretty sure they will want to capitalize on that. They say they don't want to be about games, but yet they're going to have every single app compatible in the App Store with the Apple Vision Pro. So I can tell you now that there will definitely be some controllers of some kind at some point. For sure, it is a no-brainer. So basically, this specific SDK in Unity with hand tracking for fitness style app, this project, this project, excuse me, contains the code and assets used in the Move Fast demo available on App Lab. The Oculus SDK and other supporting material is subject to the Oculus proprietary license, guys. So again, do make sure you go and read up on all the Oculus license before you go and install and create your own game using the SDK. Uh, so that you know you safeguard any potential issues or dangers or whatever or data being taken from your app or experience whatever it might be just be aware of all these different things before you go ahead and do that now in other news of course in anticipation of oculus oculus connect excuse me oculus have been uh coming out with various different videos let me just show you one very quickly uh, that are pretty cool let me just go here uh, by the way the time is if i'm not wrong they had the time on there we go so day one is at 10 a.m pst everybody just so you know because i didn't see the time last time it is at 10 a.m pst which is 1 a.m the next day for us in singapore um so you know i will do it at 1 a.m until maybe 2 or 3 a.m of course so do go and check that out and there'll be various different things going on of course uh, oh, so finally they, on, they mentioned Andrew Box because he wasn't mentioned until very recently. And I was like, why isn't he mentioned? Why isn't Andrew Box, Box mentioned on the website? Very strange. I thought it was. Maybe they saw the video and decided, mm, yeah, he's right. Building the future with Michael Abrash and Andrew Boz. So that will be following on day one. Developer State of the Union on day one as well. Uh, and then on day, MetaQuest 3, realizing your creative potential on day two. 
and on day two, everything you need to know to build on MetaQuest. So this would be very, very useful for basically all the various, excuse me, developers who want to be, uh, who want to, you know, basically, uh, you know, get to see all the lowdown. So basically, if I just go to MetaQuest, uh, the MetaQuest, there we go, Twitter, you will see that they released a couple of videos very recently, including this one here. Uh, let me just count. This is in something so basically people, it's like an AR experience where you can see the Oculus Quest floating around the horizon. You can see some people taking pictures there. Uh, I don't know whether it's an AR experience where you can scan something and you can actually see it, or uh, whether it's, uh, you know, just in it and it's very 3D and you have a talent there, a model uh, who's just pretending to take a picture of the Oculus Quest 3. But still, I think it's a pretty, pretty interesting one there. Um, let me just uh, go back. There we go. And let me just read the text. It says, continue the journey. So this was next stop in Japan. And then there was another one, another text here. Let me just find it. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. So departing in the UK. So this was the first one. There we go. Another one in the UK. You can see someone taking a picture. It looks like it's the same or very similar models. But I think this is more in 3D. I don't think it's a real photo. Uh, I mean, it could be filmed really in 3D, of course. But it looks like a skybox to me. Uh, but again, it could be done in after, you know, in After Effects, of course. Uh, perhaps it's very possible. As you can see, there the model of the Opus Meta Quest 3 floating there on Horizon. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Although I don't think it's gathered really that much traction on social media, to be honest. I didn't really get to see it until very, very recently. Uh, only about 65k views, but I, I would definitely doubt that judging by the amount of reshares, which is very poor, it's only 53 and only 25 comments uh, and only 415 hearts, it just goes to show that perhaps, you know, Meta most probably boosted this and paid this in order to get 65k views. I don't think that most of the views actually are real people. Uh, I think they're more boosted, to be honest. Now, if you do go on the actual uh, MetaQuest 3 Twitter, you'll see that most of the things that they've actually been promoting is had, uh, Asgard Raft number two. They've been pumping this thing like crazy. I'm yes. sitting in the in-between, um, the realm between the realms. Uh, and the Asgard only three beings three that can come here are beings that are above the gods themselves really. and don't you, belong to just you, one you individual realm. On and you, as a yeah. cosmic yeah. guardian, find this area to be a secondary hub outside discussion. of the Egyptian realm. Also, let us know, of course, what you're most excited about in terms of the MetaQuest 3 announcements. I'm sitting in the in-between, the realm between the realms. And the only beings that can that come, come here be announced as well we're not quite sure about this but a whole bunch the of uncharted rifts are endlessly procedurally generated that okay, means so that every to there as well i mean there's a lot of asgas content on their twitter to be very very honest with you they're just pumping it as much as possible there's another video here abraxas is the first of but our yeah, I mean, four possessible mortal are, heroes you know, with the power of the cosmic guardian coursing through him he's able to do so much more games. with his weapons you know, so really his axe which was really before just a stonecutter's axe game. now it's a boomerang oh, axe which is a super as fun as and as physical as mechanic in addition he has a sword he's able to transform into a whip sword so you can last through enemies grip onto them and grapple them or also find your way to further areas by grappling to spots they were able to make as more money as possible when it comes to the, you know, Quest 2, especially, and of course, the Quest 1. They really did well there in terms of purchasing. This can be Wrecked Club as well, of course, by Resolution Games. This looks very promising. I really do feel this will be a game very similar to this, but not in the same environment. It's a very futuristic environment. Uh, I decided to stop the game due to investment. Uh, yeah, I couldn't basically keep playing.
um, their presence in the space. But yeah, Asgard Wrath 2, here's another video. Let's see what it is. Asgard's Wrath 2 uh, kicks off so right where Asgard's Wrath 1 left off. And, and you get whisked away by the Weavers of Fate. The Weavers of Fate tell you Asgard that Rath you're actually this Twitter cosmic guardian. Media. So really, really, this is something that is going to be very much a part of the Meta Quest 3, of course. So guys, there you go. There you have it. Very quick video about today. By the way, there's a new announcement by Pimax, excuse me. So do hit the notification bell after you hit subscribe so that I can give you that news and you can get that news tomorrow. There's also a new Steam DR version 2.0, by the way. So I will definitely talk about that and try to find out what the differences are and, you know, what's the lowdown and, you know, what you should know about this during the week for sure. All right, guys, love spending some time with you. I'll see you very shortly, of course, for the Oculus Meta Connect live on September 28, 1 a.m. for us here in Singapore, or, of course, September 27th at 10 a.m. PSD for you. For all the other ones until then take it easy if not if i don't post another video before that see you for the vr essentials watch party of metaconnect in a couple of days time bye for now bye, 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 bye oh and go and watch the video that i posted with the voice of who again put in the comments below the first vr ai generated narrated also not just scripted but narrated video the voice that i posted a couple of days ago very cool meta uh, video about the video that was leaked, that they leaked, the educational tutorial that they leaked. Go and watch that video right now. See you there. Bye for now.